Well, as you saw earlier in the show, it's the week of the state swim meet, and Wapakoneta's Josie Miller is in Canton to compete, just like she was during her freshman, sophomore, and junior years. This week's OIO Prep Profile highlights the four-time state qualifier, and Josie hopes to make this trip to the CT Brandon Natatorium the best yet. Yeah, I guess I want to put it all out there, give everything I have to my last year. I don't want to, like, have any regrets. Josie is an athlete, has, you know, all those things we talk about as being competitive and that drive to, to accomplish the, her goals that she has. Uh, as a freshman, you know, when she made the state, her goal was to get on the podium. And I think every year has kind of been that situation where, hey, we're here. Uh, my goal is to place as high as I can and get on that podium. And, and she's done a great job of doing that. Swimming comes naturally to Miller. Since she started back in middle school, Josie has been a standout in the pool. This week at state, she is competing in four events, the 50 free, the 200 medley relay, the 200 freestyle relay, and the 400 freestyle relay. Lane four gets the Josie Miller. I'm really looking forward to the 50 because I want to I'd really like to get back onto the podium this year. You know, last year didn't turn out the way she wanted. She didn't make the A final last year, but you know, this year I think she's kind of got a different attitude. Seeing her time that she swam this year at districts, I think uh, out of the four years, this is the fastest time that she had at districts. So hopefully that brings good things at the state meet. I'm looking forward to the relays too because we have a pretty good chance of making it to finals this year, and that'd be a first for any of our relays ever. Wapak is well represented in Canton this year, and Josie is excited to be in the high energy atmosphere with her teammates. It's pretty cool like there's tons of people there's a lot more seating at this meet than there would be at like any other typical meet and there's a lot more fans. You know that's pretty special to know that you're one of those top swimmers in the entire state. We talk all year long that we don't want to swim our best times throughout the season that we want to swim our best times at the end of the year when it counts and this is the weekend when it counts. After high school, Miller will attend The Ohio State University to study engineering. She plans to participate in club sports, and her time at Wapakoneta has prepared her well for whatever comes her way. Definitely learned how to work hard through swim. Like it's pushed me to push myself harder than like I ever have in anything. The way she works in the pool is the way she works in the classroom. She's a great student. Um, she would have had an opportunity to swim in college if she wanted to, but you know she'd rather pursue you know her goals as far as I think she wants to be an engineer, and obviously that's going to take a lot of work for her, and uh, she wants to be focused on that. And so you know she made that decision that in, in her, her family are Buckeyes, so I think it was a great choice for her. In Wapak, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.